Hi everyone, this is Imran from Themes Code. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful and responsive restaurant website using free tools like WordPress CMS and Elementor Page Builder. I'll show you everything step by step in the easiest way. Let's see the website we are going to create in this video training. Well, we are going to create a similar website using a free theme and free plugins. It has many necessary sections like special dishes, our services, food menu, and you can show a reservation form to take orders from your customers online. I will show you how to customize and create a professional website. For example, I will show you how to change the logo how to change the menu section and how you can add any element to the header area, how you can change any text to match your need and you can change images and create any new section. Okay, let's see other pages. Here you can see about face. Here you can see beautiful about face. Let's see the menu page. You can display or catalog your food items in a professional way using this menu builder. Let's see testimonials. Blog. A very beautiful blog section. Contact. It has all the necessary pages. So, without wasting any time, let's dive into the tutorial. Make sure you watch the full video. If you watch the full video, you will be able to create any kind of website using WordPress by the end of this training. So, let's dive in. Okay, get our domain name and hosting. Well, friends, to bring your website online, you need to buy our domain name and a hosting package. I have provided a link in the video description. If you click on that link, you will be sent here on this Bluehost landing page. As we are going to build a WordPress website, we should buy a WordPress optimized hosting and WordPress itself recommends Bluehost. So without any doubt, we can purchase a hosting package from Bluehost. Okay friends, I'm just going to scroll down to see the packages. Here goes all the packages for WordPress hosting. I'm just going to scroll down. And from here you can check the features. According to your need, you can choose any package. But I recommend the basic one because it offers almost every features at the lowest price. And it also includes a free domain name for the past year. So it's a win-win situation. So I'm just going to click select under the basic, skip, Bluehost offers a free domain name for the first year. So I'm just going to enter a domain name here. It will be free included with the hosting package. Okay, so I need this domain name newrestrofood.com. So click next. Here it is. This domain name is available. Okay. Enter your password. Okay, it offers some extra packages. I'm just going to uncheck all of this. So now the total cost of our hosting package is $35. But friends, if you purchase a domain name from any provider, it will cost you nearly $15. So if you subtract $15 from $35, it will be nearly $20. So you will get a hosting package for one year at only $20. So it's amazing, super reasonable. Okay. Enter your card details here and hit submit. I have already got my domain name and hosting package. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, 
I'm just going to go to bluehost.com and on the top right corner here you can see login icon just click on it okay you will have to enter your user id and click next enter password click next okay here goes the welcome page what i should do just click on home under the user avatar click home okay here it is you should see the same interface if you purchase a hosting from bluehost now what i'm going to do i'm going to install wordpress as we are going to build a website so scroll down here you can see my site okay click on this three dots icon go settings here on the right you will see cms installer just click on cms installer and it will send you here okay here you can see available cms but we are going to create a wordpress website so under wordpress here you can see install button just click on install okay to install wordpress fill up the following settings first of all from here we need to select the domain name just click over here and i'm just going to select my domain name idevs.com okay and scroll down from here i'm just going to choose the wordpress username to access the wordpress dashboard okay you can set the website admin email here i'm just going to scroll down and enter the email address here again i'm just going to enter my email address and finally hit this install button to install wordpress okay congratulations we could successfully install wordpress cms so we have got our website well to access the website we should click the link here and open it in a new tab and here you can see the website okay friends wordpress website has two part front end and back end to access the back end i mean wordpress dashboard just click this link okay by now we could purchase the domain name and hosting package from bluehost we could install wordpress cms in the bluehost server that's great okay friends now let's configure the basic wordpress settings okay first of all our domain name is idevs.com so to access the dashboard we need to enter forward slash after the domain name and type wp hyphen admin okay hit enter and it will bring us to this wordpress login page now here we will enter the username and password of our wordpress website check this box to remember the password and finally hit login okay here goes the wordpress setup page setup wizard but here you can see exit to wordpress button just click exit to wordpress click exit and here it is we could successfully access the dashboard of our wordpress website okay friends let's see the dashboard of wordpress website here you can see dashboard on the left and click on home and this is basically the wordpress dashboard home page if i scroll down here you can see all the settings regarding wordpress and here goes post all the posts you have created 
I'm just going to click all post and here goes the dummy post I'm just going to check this box and click trash to delete this dummy post and here goes pages click all pages okay I'm going to check all the dummy pages and from here bulk action I'm just going to select move to trash and click apply and here goes appearance and here goes plugins click on install plugins I'm just going to click on this check box and from the bulk action I'm just going to click deactivate click apply again check this box from the bulk action select delete and hit apply and it will delete all the unnecessary plugins now we will have a very clean WordPress installation that's great okay go to users click all users and click here on edit scroll down here on the first name type admin last name user from the display name select admin just scroll down hit update profile okay now go to settings and click on general and here you can see an option membership if you would like to create a membership website or if you want users can register to your site you can check this box okay scroll down hit save changes now finally click permalinks permalinks is the structure of the url of your website okay from here just select post name and click save changes fantastic we have successfully configured the basic settings of your wordpress website now let's install rishi theme in this training we are going to create a restaurant wordpress website using rishi theme okay friends i have provided a link in the video description if you click on that link you will be sent here on this rishi theme website okay here you can see a big blue button download rishi for free just click on this button and it will pop up a form i'm just going to enter my email address and hit the download button okay your email has been successfully sent so let's check my email i'm going to reload okay not ne necessary here you can see rishi theme download link confirm your download just click this link scroll down from here download the rishi theme okay download is complete now let's get back to the wordpress dashboard here i'm on the wordpress dashboard to install a wordpress theme we need to navigate to appearance here you can see appearance click on themes and click add new theme click upload theme and click choose file and navigate to downloads and here you can see rishi theme okay click open 
click install now click activate okay friends rishi theme recommends their official plugin and that is download rishi companion to import the demo from the rishi theme we need to download and install this plugin also okay i'm just going to click over this button and here goes rishi companion just click on this button once again enter the email address and download is complete let's get back to the wordpress dashboard okay friends to install the plugin go to plugins and click add new plugin i'm just going to click upload plugin choose file here it is click open hit install now activate plugin okay please activate plugin license so click here go to license and on the confirmation page you will see the license key on the process confirmation page you will get the license key okay i'm just going to get back and going to enter the license key hit activate license okay that's great now i'm just going to reload this page and here you can see our website i'm just going to open this link and here you can see our website has no content but we are going to build a website like this so to build a website like this we need to import dummy data okay that's why we installed rishi theme okay so go to dashboard and here goes our current scenario go to dashboard and here you can see rishi theme just click on it okay and here you can see a starter sites that's great just click on it and it also asks to install rishi starter templates just click on this okay now here we are here you can see to receive the automatic notification of new version in your dashboard to enjoy the latest feature of rishi theme activate the feature so just click on activate okay click activate okay it's done i'm just going to get back here and reload the page okay no notification here you can see the demo templates rishi theme comes with a lot of beautifully designed templates okay i'm going to scroll down until i see our preferred template okay so here goes our demo template here it is so just to get it i'm just going to click import okay friends here we have two options we can import the home page template or we can import the complete site just click import complete site and check this box delete previously imported sites and click import well friends imported successfully so we could successfully import our demo template okay just to check it just click here view site well friends now here we are we could successfully import the dummy template and our site looks like this it's 
beautiful and it was before we imported the templates and it was before we imported the template okay so now it's our time to customize this template to make it look like this absolutely amazing that's great well friends let's start customizing our website templates well to customize the website templates we need to log into our wordpress website once you log in on the wordpress website you will see our top bar with several menu items and you will see your block title and customize option next to that okay from here we will start customizing okay so let's click this customize icon to start customizing our website templates click customize okay friends here on the left we can see our customization panel here we'll see a lot of setting options to customize our website templates okay first global and then header builder we are going to start from the top we have header on the top so start customizing the header builder or header part okay i'm just going to click header builder and here you can see we have several types of headers first of all sticky header okay now you can see we have transparent header and if i scroll down scroll down now here we can see a sticky header okay so we can also customize the sticky header and then we have transparent header that is normal okay so we are going to start customizing with the transparent header we can just change the logo according to our brand we can change the colors and etc of the header menu items here i'm just going to click on transparent header and here you can see first of all transparent logo well friends according to the situation we can change the logo we can set a specific logo for the transparent header we can set another specific type of logo for the sticky header so here goes transparent logo i'm just going to change this logo item okay friends the important part is i have provided several free assets like images you will find the link in the description just click on the link and get all of this downloaded okay i'm just going to click here transparent logo and it will open up this window and you can use anything from your media library if you already have but i'm just going to upload new images so i'm just going to click upload files and here click select files okay here i have this file and you will see it also and what i can do instead of uploading the images again and again i'm just going to select all the images and click open and it will upload all the images i have used in this video training by now i could upload all the images and i'm just going to choose the logo for the transparent header okay here it is just click select just select the logo image and click select and here you can see we could successfully change our logo okay it's fantastic and here you can see transparent header location on which pages you would like to show the transparent header just select all the pages okay and once you are done you can hit publish and get back and on the top we want to upload or set another and on the sticky header we just want to add and on the sticky header we just want to display uh, another logo so click sticky header and here you can see enable the sticky header you can also disable the sticky header okay here you can see the same logo but i'm just going to click on the logo image and this time i'm just going to select this one it is only the logo not text so click select here it is and now here you can see 
we have got our logo and the brand name Restro. Now, if I scroll down, here you can see on the sticky header, it shows only the logo, not the text. So here you can see choose sticky header. Here on the header builder, we have three rows on that for the top another for the bottom and another for the mid row or main row so which row will show on the sticky header here from here you can change that main row okay and box shadow you can set box shadow on the sticky header it has box shadow okay and enable on if you would like to disable sticky header on mobile phone you just simply click on and here you can see the icon is disabled click once again and hit publish so we could successfully change the logo for our website ok friends now here we are we are going to deal with the menu items so I'm just going to scroll down and here you can see menu on is selected and here on uh, here you can see menu item on if you just click over here on uh, here you will see the menu layout here you will see menu layout just get back or once again if you click on menu on it will show these items okay choose a menu you might have different set of menus but here we have selected menu one okay so here you can see menu layout from here you can also change the menu layout okay and let's see here you can see sub menu with sub menu top offset a lots of option here now get back here you can see button okay let's click on button here you can see we have make a reservation button so you can change the text just select this part and write call for reservation here you can see we could change the button text color and you can add any link to the button So, I'm just going to get back. How about if you would like to add any element to the header, like a search box? Here you can see search icon. Just hold it, drag, and drop here. Here you can see I have dropped dragged and dropped it and now click over here and from here you can just change the icon size i'm just going to get to design part and default state color white transparent state transparent state color white and sticky state color white now here you can see the now here you can see the icon is visible okay and you can add icon margin just unlink this i'm just going to add some margin on the left just 40 pixel okay here it is it's fantastic you could successfully add a search icon in the same way you can add contact button date social share or you can add any image it's absolutely amazing a cool header builder so i'm just going to click again on the search and from here i can just increase the icon size here it is wow it looks amazing on the sticky header if i click over here it shows the search box so 
I think it was super easy to customize the header part. So I'm just going to hit publish and get back, get back. Now let's see how we can change the background image and text of this website in the hero section. Okay, so I'm just going to click this cross icon. We are done with the header section. Now once again, you will see the top bar and here you will see edit with Elementor. Just click edit with Elementor. Okay, click continue. It's basically a WordPress page. To edit the page, we need to use a page builder and we have selected Elementor page builder to customize the pages. Okay, so on the left here, you can see Elementor page builder panel and here you can see navigation bar. I'm just going to customize this hero page. So to change any text, just select the text. Here you can see cursor and if you uh, enter the backspace, you can delete the text or you can add your own text. Say for example, I'm just going to add best delicious food in town in the city. Okay, it's pretty simple. In the same way, you can change text. Okay, let's see how we can change the background image. To change the background image, we need to go to the section style. Here you can see banner. If I click on it, here goes the section editing option. Just click on the middle. On the left, here you can see edit container. Go to a style and here you can see the image that is here. So from here, we can easily change the uh, hero section image. Okay, I'm just going to click on the image and it shows up the media library. And here goes my image. Here you can see banner 5. Just click select. Here it is. We could see the banner. And let's see how we can customize it. Okay. From here, you can just select background type, color, image, and image resolution it will be full, image position, center, center, attachment default, uh, display size, cover. Now, here you can see it is not full width and full height. So to do that, let's go to layout. And here you can see minimum height. And I'm just going to enter 100 VAs. Here from, I'm just going to choose VAs. So, let's go to a style. And here you can see background overlay. Just click on background overlay. Here you can see background type. I'm just going to click classic. And here goes color. I'm just going to select on color. And I'm going to enter a full black color. Okay, I have selected full black color. And here you can see opacity. I'm just going to drag it to increase the opacity. Okay, 6 is better. Okay, 6 or 6 point on or 6 on. Okay, it looks great. So, I'm just going to hit update. And let's see the preview from here.
okay, 100 VAs is not working. So let's go to a style layout. Let's go to layout. Content with minimum height. Here I'm just going to enter 100. Once again, then click update. Go over here. Now you can see it is full width, full height. Looks great. If I scroll down, here you can see sticky header. That's fantastic. So by now, we could change the text here. We could change the background image. Okay, let's get back to the edit phase and let's see the demo side. Here we can see we have some our some of our special dishes. Here you can see here you can see our special dishes. So let's let's edit this section and make it that. Okay. To edit any part, just go over there. You can just minimize the what should I say navigation or click on navigation. Okay, come over here and edit the text from here. There should be our special dishes. Okay, fantastic. We could change the text. Now let's change the image. Just click on the pencil icon and choose image. Click on it. BBQ barbecue seconds. Select and from here you can change the heading. Just click on here and write sorry. I'm just going to write here BBQ. Seconds. In the same way, I'm just going to change image and text for other tools. Okay, so it's super easy to change the text, change the image, just follow. Just in the same way, you can change according to your need. So I scroll down, just change everything. I have provided the images. Okay, that's great. Now, in the same way, you can change the content of other pages. I'm just going to click over here and click exit exit to apply okay i'm just going to view the page Now you can see our images and text. In the same way, you can change text and images for other section and other pages. Well, friends, this is the end of this video training. But I believe you will be able to create a restaurant website watching this video. Please let me know what you think about this training and hit the subscribe button and like this video. Please check my YouTube channels for more videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in a new video. Goodbye.